I'll go ahead and admit it first, I'm not much of a tech or gadget kind of person. I'm the kind of person that waits to update their iPhone until I absolutely have to, until my phone quits working like it's supposed to. Then I do the update for the software. I don't like it. I don't like getting a new phone, all of the transfer stuff. I'm just, I'm not really a tech and gadgety kind of person. However, there are some gadgets and tech things for our home and just like kind of life in general. I find to be incredibly helpful and practical and the kind of gadgety techy thing Things that I can really get behind. If you're like me and maybe you're not super into gadgets, you're not trying all the new things all the time, but you want some actually very practical, useful, helpful gadgety things, then this video I think is uh, gonna be right up your alley. The very first thing I wanna share with you is something that I think is insanely practical and has been so helpful for me. This little beauty right here, it plugs right into your outlet. So basically it takes your outlet where you would normally be able to only plug in two things and you get um, five normal three prong outlets then on the front here you get three usb and one usb c it's also got a light for you because it's a surge protector so when that light is on uh, you know that the surge protecting mechanism is activated which is great if you've got different things plugged in that you certainly wouldn't want to be victims of a power surge and let's just be honest this is great like in the living room behind the sofa when everybody's sitting around maybe you're all on devices tablets Game, playing like online game stuff or whatever, and you don't have a ton of outlets. I know I mention this frequently, but we live in an older home. And so our home was built in a time when people didn't have a bunch of tablets and devices and things like that. So our home doesn't have a lot of outlets. This is a way to get around that if you live in an older home without so many outlets, gives you some more options there. So then I also have another power strip that I use here in my office and I love this one. You know, I've got my laptop, I've got my display computer, I've got my separate speakers that I'm plugging in, my printer, my external hard drives. And so this is really great because it's flat. It has uh, sticky things on the back so that you can stick it to the side of your desk, to the underside of your desk. And it really does help to just kind of corral all of those cords and cables into one place and really just allow you again to utilize the outlet that's by my desk for way more than just the two things that I would normally plug in there. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna mention when we talk about like home gadgets and tech for cable management. In this day and age, we often have a lot of chargers, a lot of charging cables, and it can be hard to sort them because some use uh, USB-C, some use regular USB, some have like those little micro USB, I don't even know the name of, of all of them, but you know what I'm talking about, the ones that are like small on one side and long on the other, they're all funky shapes and stuff. To the rescue is something simple, but it really packs a big punch in terms of organizing things. It will fit most likely in your junk drawer. It comes with a handful of these little Velcro strips for you to tie up each cable with, and then you have multiple sections here to sort your cables in. Now, if you're really like one of those organized to the nines kind of people, you could label each of these, use your little label maker or your Cricut and label each of them with the type of cord that they are. But this is a great way to corral and keep cords nice and tidy and easily findable, uh, particularly for like children and other small family members who you don't want just making a mess. Charging cables and cords junk up your junk drawer probably faster than almost anything else. All right. The next little gadgety thing that I really love is something that I purchased for our homeschool for the kids, but I find myself using it a ton, especially if you have uh, ADD or you just have a really hard time focusing. If you've seen some of my other content where I talk about uh, being able to be more productive by doing one task at a time instead of multitasking. So if you're trying to work on that, setting a timer for yourself for 15, 20 minutes, this is a visual timer, because I know there's a timer on your phone, right? But this is a visual timer, and it is great because it allows you to say, okay, 15 minutes, and then visually you or your child or whoever can watch that little red shape slowly disappear as it counts down. It's fabulous for kids or adults. I love this visual timer. It's very practical and useful for me in my day, but also with my kids and just like, you know, if they need to read for 10 minutes or sometimes, we have problems with children taking too long of showers. So this timer gets set and your booty better be back downstairs and out of the shower by the time the red 
disappears. And this comes in multiple color ways as well. So if pink and red is not your jam, that's okay. There's other colors available. Okay, the next thing is super fun and something that I feel like is one of those items that you certainly don't need, but it's really nice to have and could make like a great stocking stuffer at later points or just a little gift to yourself, okay? And that is a shower speaker. This thing is really cool. It just, it's a, sorry, I just went and got it out of my shower to bring it in here so it's a little wet. It has like the little suction cup to suction it against the wall, uh, the tile, if you have glass, whatever. And it just has a Bluetooth connection that goes to your phone and it allows you to listen to music in the shower, a podcast in the shower, whatever it is that you like to listen to, an audio book or something, without bringing your actual physical phone in the shower, which I have been known to do. Just keep that phone turned up as loud as possible and <laughs> bring it in the shower with me. It's really not a good idea, but I have been known to do it. So this is really nice. It just has a little charging port here. I, I charged this when I first got it, I don't know, probably three or four months ago, and I have not charged it since. So it holds the charge for a while. I guess that would depend on uh, how long of showers you take and how long you have this on. But if you're somebody that likes to listen to stuff in the shower, maybe if you're having like a relaxing shower or, I, I don't know, okay? I could come up with a million reasons and they'll just get weirder. So shower, speaker, awesome little gadget. The next thing, depending on uh, what kind of person you are, might not feel like so awesome. Mine's a little bit dirty, so try not to look too close, but this is a smart scale. I threw away my scale like a year and a half ago, and I just, I'm not somebody who weighs myself very regularly, not to go into a whole long thing here, but I just don't like to put that in my head all the time, like the number and then worrying, because no matter how much you try not to, you just do sometimes. You know what I'm talking about, okay? So y'all can judge me if you want to, but you feel skinny, you know what I'm saying? You have the skinny feel, I've, we've talked about this before, um, that you feel good, you're feeling uh, like you're not retaining water, you feel skinny, and then you get on the scale and the number doesn't match how you feel, and then all of a sudden you don't feel so skinny anymore and you're like, oh, I just don't feel good. I just don't love to weigh myself constantly, but I do like to weigh myself and keep track of it. So this is just really great because it sends the weight, you can connect it to your phone. So it's a smart scale and I, what I do, y'all are just gonna think I'm so ridiculous now, um, but I will not look. Like I'll connect it with my phone and then I'll get on, weigh, let the number go to my phone and then I don't, I don't look, right? If I don't wanna know that day, if I know that I'm not in a good, like quite frankly, I'm just not in a good mental place today and so I don't really need to like add that to my brain today, I'll let you know the number go to my phone and be saved in the app, but I'm not looking at it. So then I can go back and look later, track it later. So it's just a cool way to track weight very easily and within the app. And the app does a bunch of other things. I mean, there's so many other practical reasons and uses for this smart scale. I'm just telling you my weirdo ways and why I like it because it allows me to track my weight without having to look at it constantly. If you're a therapist, you're probably over there like, whoo, lordy. Okay, the next thing, I've shared about these a couple times and I have a few different variations of these. They are battery powered lights, so, or light bulbs. So I have both the regular light bulbs and you just charge them. These, uh, you put actually batteries into them. These are puck lights. Again, you just put batteries in them and then you can put them into any lamp, just kind of stick them into the lampshade or set them on top. And then you just, you know, push them like you would any old puck light. It comes with like little 3M sticky things to allow you to stick this somewhere. So it's great if you want to put it like under a cabinet or inside a cabinet that maybe is something that you open at night. I don't know, diaper cabinets or something for your kids where you could just reach in, push this, turn it on. You've got a light light in there to see and then turn it off. My husband has these stashed all over the place, okay? We have these all over the place uh, in order to be able to see into dark places. The light bulbs are also really awesome because that allows you to put a lamp somewhere or a light somewhere without having to actually have it wired into the wall. So if you have lamps but no close plug-in and you don't want cords running all over your house, that's a really great option. I also, I wasn't planning on sharing these, but I just installed them on my wall. They're battery powered wall sconces. I've been eyeing these for forever and I finally purchased them probably a month or so ago as I've been doing our living room makeover and I installed them over the weekend and oh, I love them so much. You charge uh, the light bulbs, but they come with it. It's, it's all a package deal. It's meant to be installed this way, which makes it really helpful the way that the sconce 
actually installs into the wall, if that makes sense, since they know you're not gonna be wiring it into anything. So it makes it very simple and easy. I really, really like these. They have a little um, remote to turn them on, off, dim them, make them brighter. You can change the tone of the light bulb. You can make it more cool or warmer, which is fantastic that that all comes in one light bulb instead of having to buy different light bulbs to do that. All of the battery powered type of light bulbs like that are really awesome. The other one that I wanted to share with you, this one is great for like inside of your closets or inside of cabinets. If you don't like the puck light, if you want something that's more sleek under your kitchen cabinets or whatever, you basically take the sticky things, attach them to this little metal plate and then that will be where you're gonna attach the light because you will be needing to take the light out to charge it, not often, but every so often. And then that is how you attach it to the wall area, if that makes sense. So these are kind of advertised as like closet lights. I think they would be great, again, under kitchen cabinets or under bookshelves, just any place that you want to have some of that mood lighting, lighting that seems to come out of nowhere. Where is that coming from? Without a lamp or something else. These are fantastic. And if the surface you're attaching them to is metal of some kind, then you don't have to do anything because you just slap this metal piece, it'll magnetize to that item and then that on it. And you don't have to deal with the sticky things either if you're putting it onto a metal surface already. All right, my next gadget pick is this kind of, I don't really even know how to describe it. I would call it like a cable management device. So it's sticky on one side and then it just, it's very bendy and flexible and you're able to slide cords right through it to hold onto it. So it's fantastic like on the side of your nightstand or the back of your nightstand or on the side of your desk. Um, if you have cords and cables that need to come up and be able to be accessed frequently, maybe something that you're plugging in and out like an external drive or a printer, maybe you need multiple outlet options. This will allow you to kind of hold those cords and cables in place. Think of like charging your phone or your iPad or something. You want all those cables up and available and you don't want them to just fall down when you unplug the item. This kind of holds them and keeps them in place. Good way to kind of streamline and manage all of the cables and cords in your life, which I feel like all of us, I mean, we have a lot, a lot of cables and cords. Okay, the next thing, this is really cool, okay? I wouldn't have necessarily thought of this, and I saw it on Amazon. Sometimes Amazon just advertises to me, and I'm like, okay, you know me, boo. But this is fantastic, because we don't think about these things enough these days, protecting your identity. Uh, but when you get a package or something of the like, it just takes two seconds. So I keep this with my mail area over here where I'm dealing with packages and mail and stuff. And before I throw out a box or put a box break it down and just stick it in recycling. You just take this little roller stamp and roll it over once or twice, essentially like blocks out all pertinent information. So you can use this on documents, on boxes, doesn't matter. Like if you, I don't know, you get something from the IRS or something that has your social security number on it or bank account numbers or just private personal information, um, especially if you're not shredding everything and you want a quick way to just block out that personal or maybe you need to like screenshot a piece of mail and send it to somebody, but you just wanna block out your personal information that's on it, this is quick. I don't know what's going on with my dogs right now. Hold on. It's like they think they're a pack of wolves over there howling at the moon. Anyways, so being able to block out like private personal information on documents, mail, paper, this is just quick and easy. And it does come with some refills for the ink as well. So it's not something that's gonna run out fast and then you have to figure out what to do. You get three refills with it. So I think this is a very quick and easy method for protecting private information like quickly and easily. The next little gadget, maybe you will only care about this if you are a woman of a certain age. I think this is awesome. So this is a portable neck fan and you basically, as you would imagine, you just charge it and then you toss it around your neck almost like it's its own little scarf <sighs> and it's just blowing cool air onto your face. So if you have hot flashes, or if you're like me and you're working out in the garden, in the heat, in the sun, if I'm on the tractor, then it's really nice to be able to get just a teeny bit of cool airflow going around the neck and face. I'm actually going to Florida in a couple of weeks and I think I'm gonna bring this with me for like standing in line for rides and things like that. You know, sometimes you're just like, you know, you're over here fanning yourself with everything you can find. This is lightweight, 
timer went off. <laughs> so it's lightweight, it has three speeds. One, just a nice gentle breeze. Two is like, all right, I'm feeling hot, I need some air. And three is like, I'm having a hot flash and I need some serious airflow. I'm totally gifting one of these to my mother-in-law because she's always hot when she comes to visit and she will love this. Not a necessity, but something that will enrich your life. I promise you that. Okay, I promise we're almost done. I just have two more things to share with you. This little portable charger is the bee's knees, okay? It is thin, nice and easy, and this is my favorite part. Well, first of all, the little thing just folds up in here, easy peasy. But the best part is that the cables are built in so they're not dangling or wrapped around this thing or you got to go find one you have a iphone charger and a usb-c charger you've got your two things built in right there right snazzy into the side some of the ones that like magnetize i have an anchor one that magnetizes to the back of the phone but it doesn't work unless you have a magsafe case on your phone so i have to take the case off of my phone because i'm a dork and i like weird phone cases and stuff and the ones i like never seem to be magsafe so i love that i have an option that is like neat and tidy i'm not having to find the cable like great i've got the charger but i need cables now it's all built in right here easy peasy and to me that is the kind of like tech help that i need make it as easy as possible the last thing and we saved it for last because it's disgusting but necessary and that is these earbud cleaning putty squares if you've ever looked closely at your earbuds and maybe you don't even need to look close they get disgusting really fast so these are like these earbud cleaning little putty squares that basically you just squeeze them into the end of your wireless headphone or wired one, doesn't matter, whatever you're sticking in your ear. And then you just pull it back out and that pulls away uh, dirt, wax, gunk, blech, and you can repeat it until all the gunk is gone. So you just kind of flip it over and stick it back in the other way. It's disgusting, but it is very practical and useful. I'm like, I will use this and I'm also gonna give this to my husband gross it's gross i know but necessary all right y'all that's it for my home gadgety techie things that i am really liking and feel like are very helpful even though i'm not a techie gadgety person so maybe if you're like a super tech gadgety person you're like ugh, that's child's play but for me it's helpful tech gadget that is actually practical and useful and not just making my life harder by adding something that has like six steps it's supposed to be easier but it's not okay these are things that I actually use and enjoy and help me, and maybe they will do the same for you. So that's it for me today, y'all, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.